And this start and stop style for fast Pokemon looks really, really bad. So yeah, I think following Pokemon as it was implemented in Isle of Armor was a mistake. 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 That's right, I fixed follow Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Rather than talk your ears off explaining how this is possible, I'll save it for after the demonstration, as actions speak louder than words. Enjoy! The very exciting news that I wanted to share with you guys, and what was teased in my latest video secret ending, was that I figured out a way to manipulate Pokemon animations in Sword and Shield through mods. All of the mods I've showcased up until now were created by other people, but I'm happy to announce that I actually created the mods featured in this video. A huge shout out to Eagle Strike on Twitter for the theory crafting and assistance. He was able to achieve something similar in Sun and Moon and helped me work out how to replicate that in Sword and Shield. I'll be uploading these mods to Game Banana sometime soon so those of you with a modified Switch can use them too. I believe the mods also work on the Switch emulator Yuzu, but I'm not entirely sure. I was able to address the erroneous stop and go issue plaguing any Pokemon that were able to catch up to the player, an issue I don't think I've ever seen in any game ever involving following partners. Basically what happens is that the Pokemon runs towards the player, then when they reach the player the game tells them to use their walking animation so they slow down, but the player keeps going so the Pokemon needs to catch back up again and the cycle repeats. The fix was simple, don't have the Pokemon walk which means they will never need to catch up. This unfortunately isn't a universal fix. The Pokemon that are simply too slow to catch up will continue to teleport endlessly towards the player. That part is still a work in progress as I try and figure out how to increase individual Pokemon speeds. But this does do a pretty good job of allowing faster Pokemon to more competently follow the player. It even allows certain Pokemon to follow you while you're on your bike. No Pokemon in the Isle of Armor is able to properly follow the player on the bike because the second they catch up to the player and begin to walk, the player blasts past them, forcing them to crawl their way back up to you or teleport if they get too far. A simple fix for this would be to just put the Pokemon back in their Pokeball when on 
on the bike, like how it is in Heart Gold Soul Silver, but I guess Game Freak forgot. Not the worst thing, however, since we now get a chance to push our Pokemon to their limits. The mod allows certain Pokemon to be very close to the player even while on the bike, completely eliminating both the stop and go and teleportation issues. Zoroark is so fast that even using the boost only pulls you slightly ahead of him until he catches back up again. Zarude looks pretty crazy swinging behind the player, but when you're on the bike, Zarude is able to be set free. I have a lot of really fun and exciting content on the way, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, thanks for watching, you guys.